and welcome back to ATF Review 16 video review. Today we are going to be taking a look at the Marvel Legends 12 inch Wolverine. This is the uh, Wolverine styled after Jim Lee's artwork and it looks awesome. Here he is in the packaging. Uh, I did order this from BigBadToyStore.com. Uh, this one is probably going to be harder to find. Uh, I don't know if he's going to hit retail. You can check your Toys R Us or your local comic book shops to see if they ordered this guy. I got him from BigBadToyStore.com, so you can always check there for availability as well. But the packaging is awesome. You can see he comes with these accessories. He comes with two different head sculpts, the mask, different shoulder pads, an extra set of fists. On one side, you have the awesome pictures of the figure and you can see that the foil is very cool. I love the uh, foil packaging for the uh, 12 inch Marvel Legends. Here's some more photos of this awesome looking Wolverine figure. As you can see the back of the package there, different art on this side. Very cool, all really nice shots. You have the embossed Marvel on top and on the bottom is just your UPC code and distribution information. You can also try and check this out at a Hasbro Toy Shop. They might have some as well. But uh, yeah, let's get him out of the package and take a look at this Marvel Legends 12 inch Wolverine. And here is the 12 inch Marvel Legends Logan action figure outside of his packaging. And you can see he has three different looks here. This is the unmasked version. He's wearing the mask around his neck. It's pulled back down. His claws are retracted. And here is the battle damaged Wolverine. And here is the more traditional Wolverine look. So you can see you have multiple options for displaying this guy. You can mix and match his accessories. We'll talk about all his accessories in a moment here. But yeah, the overall character design and sculpt, this guy is stylized after the Jim Lee artwork, the amazing Jim Lee artwork for Wolverine. He is wearing his tiger stripe outfit. And uh, just the posability is amazing. We're gonna get into articulation as well, but let's talk about the character design and the overall sculpt. And I absolutely love the proportions of this guy. Uh, again, the posability is amazing, but the options you have for displaying him is just phenomenal with the different accessories and stuff that you got. Uh, you can get multiple looks for this character design. Very, very cool. Again, love the proportions. And the character design, awesome. The suit, I love the tiger stripe suit. I was very excited when I first saw images of this guy from uh, 2017 San Diego Comic Con. I was just so excited to finally get a, a 12 inch Marvel Legends Wolverine figure with his tiger stripe suit. So very cool. So in terms of the paint and the sculpting, this guy is not lacking in any way. The paint lines here are really clean. You can see the awesome tiger stripe and the uh, close up here of the first head sculpt or this version of the head sculpt, the more traditional one. I do wish that the top of the ears would came out just a little bit more but it's not bad the way it is do like that the eyes you can see he's got the white eyes and he's even got these stubble sculpted in here he's got his mean grimace looking right there great sculpting lines on the neck and the muscular the musculature is very very awesome yeah he's huge too i mean look at the size of his arms He's got this great butterfly joint. We'll get into articulation in a minute, but I just want to talk about the paint. Because, yeah, he does have some wash here, some darker uh, paint colors in the musculature here. So that is very, very cool. Coming down to the boots. Got, got some nice sculpted in texture here for the boots. I mean, this looks like leather. I love the, the plastic used here. It's the traditional, like, gummy Marvel Legends style plastic. Uh, he's very heavy and awesome looking. On the back, you can see some more sculpted in detail on the back. And the belt piece is a separate piece. He's got the X-Men belt there. And that is a separate piece. 
And again, yeah, just great, great sculpting on this figure and great detail. Nice, crisp, crisp clean paint. Uh, you can see the sculpting here on his arms. This, this is really cool because he has all the hair sculpted in. It's not painted here, but it still creates that look of hairy arms without adding any paint. But there is some... Uh, this is all just plastic. So this part, this is molded in this uh, flesh color plastic here. And then, yeah, and the, the same with the forearms here, the gloves that go up. I love that these are a separate piece. Again, this is molded in that blue color plastic. So that's not really paint. Here, here's a close-up of the claws. But you got some really nice silver paint detail on the blue there. Uh, this claw is a little bit crooked, but I can heat it up a little bit and straighten it more. So the claws have the tips curve in slightly. And there is his gloves, great sculpting on that. On his hands, you can see the padding on his gloves. Very cool, nice sculpture, nice te texture here as well on those gloves. Very impressive as far as the sculpt and paintwork on this guy, it is very good. As far as accessories, aside from the ones that are on him, obviously he has his claw hands and the traditional head sculpt. He comes with two additional head sculpts. You have the battle torn one. You can see the hair coming through the top of it. He's got some bullet hole markings on the upper ears. He's got the screaming face with the uh, white eyes there. Really beautiful uh, sculpt here and nice paintwork on the teeth. You can even see his tongue in there. That is very cool. Really nice, crisp, clean paint details on that. Really awesome head sculpt there for this version. And then he comes with the Logan head sculpt. He's got that smirk and really nice paint details on the eyes as well. Very, very cool. He's got the glimmer in his eye. Very nice. So there's some reflective paint used in there to get a realistic eye. Really nice paint detail on the eyebrows as well. He's got the little piece of hair coming down here. The ears look really good. Uh, the only thing about this head sculpt, I wish the hair came out further. I wish it was more stylized, more like the Jim Lee. It is stylized after the Jim Lee uh, artwork, but uh, the hair would be coming up more uh, for this unmasked head sculpt. So that's the only complaint I have that way. Otherwise, this head sculpt looks really good. Very awesome. Nice sculpted in detail here with the stubble on his face. Yeah, really, really cool. And then he comes with the mask, uh, the unmasked version. So this will drape around his neck. So as he's pulled his mask down over his, over his head to reveal his uh, regular head sculpt. And uh, very cool, nice sculpting and nice paint on this as well. Looks very good. And then for his shoulder accessories, you have these armor pieces. This is the battle damaged look for him. He's got some claw marks or some scrapings there and some bullet holes on this side, but really nice metallic plastic used here. Very cool. There's no paint on this. This is molded in that metallic plastic, so it gives a nice sheen to it and looks very, very cool for his armor shoulders. And there is markings, these peg into his shoulders, uh, left and right markings. And yeah, the thicker peg goes in the back, the thinner one goes in the front. Very cool. And he also comes with the retracted claw gloves. So you can see the amount of detail in the sculpt on this, really great. Uh, you, you get it molded in this blue plastic and the Silver claws here are painted in, or the, the holes for the claws to come through are painted in. Very good, some little bit of mist right there on the ends. But other than that, these look really good as well. So there's a look at the accessories. So to switch out the accessories, the head can just pop off pretty easy. It's on a hinge here as well. And the neck detail is all sculpted in, so there's no other neck articulation, just the up and down there. And then you can pop on the battle damaged head. So there you have that look. And then as far as the shoulder plates, these pop off. And then you can take the battle damaged ones and plug this in. Again, the thicker peg goes in the back. 
and the smaller peg goes in the front and you can just pop those on and off very easily. They look very cool. So again, we'll do the other one as well. So just so many options for displaying this guy. It's pretty, it's easy to switch that stuff out. Very awesome. And the head does kind of pop off easy and the articulation is good on the head. It doesn't look up that well though. It looks up not, not as far as I'd like it to. The hinge doesn't go back, but you can kind of pop it off the ball joint a little bit to get him to look up further. So that still works. And then there is also the option to take the mask and then you just put that on over his, over his neck joint there and then pop on the regular or the unmasked head sculpt. And again, yeah, that's kind of hard to get on and off or it pops off kind of easy as well. But uh, yeah, it's supposed to be easy for switching them out easy enough. And then he's got the mask on his back. Very awesome look for Logan with his unmasked version. Definitely like that. And again, then you can easily pop off his blade hands and then put in the fist hands, the retracted claw hands. So very cool, it's just a simple peg right there. It's a smaller peg, so you can see that. And that is easy to switch those out. In the way of articulation, this Marvel Legends 12 inch Wolverine is not lacking at all. You can see, you can get him in some really dynamic poses. Uh, he's got a good weight to him as well. And the articulation on him is phenomenal. I already went over the head articulation. Again, but it does, there's not that much movement. There's really not any side to side. He looks up a little bit limited, but he looks down really far. So that's cool. And again, you can pop the head slightly off the ball joint to get him to look up further as well. So you have the, those options there. He's got the butterfly joint, which is awesome. And again, these move as well. The shoulder plating moves as well. So he has full rotation of the shoulders. He's got the bicep swivel double jointed elbows, which will go about that far up. You can see as far as the exposure here, it's this doesn't look the best, but you can see the darkness too for the hair on the arms. So very cool that way. And then he has the wrist hinges right here and rotation that way as well. He's got this amazing, awesome diaphragm joint and he has no waist swivel, so the, so the diaphragm works as the swivel as well. And then he's got the ab crunch as well. So you can get him back with, with both of these together. You can get him back really far and you can get him forward very, very far. So he crunches very well. Great torso articulation. I love the proportions on him. Again, he's just massive. But yeah, there's no waist swivel there. The swivel is on the upper diaphragm. And then he's got the hips. He can go up this far. Back is kind of limited due to the sculpt of the butt. And they can, he can do, do the splits very far, about that far out, very cool. And then he's got the upper thigh rotation there, double jointed knees. He has boot swivel as well on these awesome looking boots. And then he's got the full ankle articulation. You can get him up that far along with the toe hinge. So, and it goes back really far as well. And then he's got the ankle pivot. So that is wonderful. So yeah, as far as articulation, this Marvel Legends 12 inch Wolverine uh, is really lacking nothing. The only complaint I have um, is with the kind of limited mobility on the neck. But other than that, this guy is amazing in terms of the articulation. So for a size comparison, here he is with the 12 inch Marvel Legends Deadpool figure. Make sure you check out my review of that Deadpool figure as well. But here they are together. You can see Logan or Wolverine is shorter than him as he should be. He's stockier and shorter. Great proportions on this Wolverine figure. 
They look great together. And here he is next to a Masterpiece MP36 Megatron. So you can see here, he is about 10 and a quarter inches tall to the top of his head. Obviously taller with the ears goes to about 10 and a half inches. Here is Wolverine next to the Disney Elite 11 inch scale figures. So here we have Darth Vader and Kylo Ren. So you can see how he scales with these other Hasbro figures. And here is Wolverine next to the Marvel Legends 6 inch brown suit Wolverine and Logan. And I saw images from Toy Fair that they are going to be releasing a tiger stripe suit 6 inch Wolverine figure. So I'm very excited about that as well. So in conclusion, this Wolverine 12 inch scale Marvel Legends figure is amazing. I absolutely love it and I highly recommend that you go out and pick this figure up. Again, I got mine at Big Bad Toy Store. You can look around for this guy at your local comic and hobby shops. Uh, you know, try and find him online, maybe Hasbro Toy Store. Uh, but yeah, definitely this is one that you want to pick up. So thanks so much for tuning in to my video review of the 12-inch Marvel Legends Wolverine figure. You can follow me on Twitter at TFReview16. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends. I do so much appreciate all your support. We are growing this channel. I'm trying to get back into the swing of things and do more reviews. So your support is always appreciated. Thanks again for tuning in, and until next time, Keep collecting. Oh, that's not good. No, no, no. Oh, you're not going to walk that one off. Oh, that's so gross.